Krause. We're here with Reclaim Barns and Beans, and I thought I'd try to answer for you some of the questions that people ask about our shiplap siding. Reclaim Barns and Beams, um, I'm an entrepreneur and I had this crazy idea to start this business of selling reclaimed lumber. So what I do is I go down to barns that people donate to me and I take those barns down one board at a time. I bring the lumber back here and I prepare it, take the nails out with a denailer, we trim off the bad parts of it, when I say we, I mean myself and my boys, and we take that lumber then and we ship it across the country to people that are interested either in mantles or wood that would make shelving, or we have a really popular need for, um, popular need, a great need for reclaimed siding. So I have some examples of reclaimed siding here. This is white shiplap siding. It's shiplap because the pieces overlap so you don't see anything behind it. It's three quarters inch thick and it's about seven inches wide. The piece that you see without the shiplap is seven inches wide. This is probably the most popular siding that we see on barns in central Indiana. I'm sure across the country it varies and here it varies in color. This is a white with a gray. We have all gray, we have reds, we have yellows. There's some black in the barns in, in southern Indiana. Red's a pretty popular color. People purchase the siding to, re to clad their walls, um, cutting it in various shapes and lengths, um, even cutting it in half and using it to clad the wall. On our website at Reclaim Barns and Beams, we have a lot of pictures of folks that have sent us their finished work. Once they um, took a picture and sent it to us, we post it on our website. The barns that we take down have a story behind them. We usually get to know the person that donates it to us. And so I try to tell that story and you'll find our barns that we have already removed um, and the story that goes with them on our website. So you can take a look at that if you're interested in the history. The barn siding that I have here, I said is shiplap. There's another kind of siding that we have, except I don't know where I put it. So we have a tongue and groove siding. Tongue and groove means there's two pieces with the tongue goes in the middle, and so it fits together like that. A little different. You can see that this is a lighter gray and a darker gray hue, and this is six inches wide. So it's a little different look um, than the other siding that I was holding up. A couple bought some of this this weekend to put on the front of a bar that they were putting in their house. I use a shoe brush. People are asking me what do I do to, to clean the unfinished siding before I ship it or sell it. And I literally just take the shoe brush up and down to get the loose dirt. Um, the back of the siding is usually a brown. And I've had folks buy siding and just put that brown side out. A gentleman did a barn um, that he was collecting old cars. And so he wanted to decorate that in an antique or a rustic look. So that's what he used. I measure the siding for the cut and then I just use this chop saw to cut the siding and it makes a nice even cut. Any of the scrap lumber that we have we'll make um, decorative pieces out of so we take old antique door or um, doorknobs or drawer knobs from a dresser and attach them. We reclaim shutters and they make a really great look in a kitchen or on a wall somewhere with antiques on it. All those things can be seen at our website. You can join us on our Facebook page. We have a lot of followers and we'd love to have you follow us there as well. I think that um, you'll be able to see a lot of different ideas and inspiration pieces on our website that folks have made. So that's very helpful. As far as the shiplap siding, we have a lot of people that will use it to clad walls, like I said, or we have folks who use it to make headboards on beds. Uh, we've had people use it to make tabletops, outdoor tables. It makes a really great look on a patio. So those are some of the things people have used the siding for. Um, a lot of uh, questions come in around how do we finish the siding. And so what we will suggest is people will use um, a Minwax clear or satin or a matte finish. You can use whatever your favorite finishing products are before you put it up on their wall. 
um, or your, your piece that you're creating. We just wanted to share uh, some information around Reclaim Siding and kind of how we prepare it or what we do with it. I hope you have other questions. If you want to send those to me, you can comment through our Facebook page or our website at reclaimbarnesandbeams.com. I talk really fast. I'm going to try to post some more videos about our other pieces, our mantles that we create out of the reclaimed barn beams, and we'll also be sharing some videos on how we take down barns and deconstruct them. Uh, so if you have a barn picture or a story or just want to say, hey, how are you, we would happy, well, happily welcome your comments or your suggestions on how we can share out more information or things that you want to know. Thanks for joining us, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.